Hi everyone, welcome to my channel, License to Roam. You can follow me on Twitter slash X at Edward Stratman. And if you enjoy the video, I would really appreciate a like, subscribe, and any comments as I get started and hope to grow the channel. All right, for this analysis, I'll be focusing on Bologna's exciting Polish talent, Kasper Urbanski, who's making great progress within Thiago Motta's tactically sophisticated side. Obviously, he's a multifaceted, technical, skillful, and tactically adaptable midfielder, and he's proving his worth on both sides of the ball of late, as the Polish prospects coming on in leaps and bounds were never given his opportunity. Obviously, having already made 15 appearances in the top flight under the guidance of Motta, of which six have been a starter, plus he's also notably played 120 minutes against Inter Milan during the their recent cup tie success to progress the 19 year olds impressively holding his own obviously his first goal in Serie A is his next aim which is something that's definitely in his locker as he proved in the primavera as he bagged nine in 30 games last season obviously his most recent match against Empoli certainly underlined the value he brings to the team and the qualities he has and why moderates him so highly as he worked hard on both sides of the ball and adhered to his manager's demands really nicely especially on the attacking end obviously onto the analysis and we'll start with the movement, obviously, just so impressive, the way he would just drop into areas and continually rotate and just keep that well-oiled machine so fluid in possession and so hard for defenders to match up against. So you can see here, he's just dropping smartly to form that 4v3 overload from his base number eight position, which sort of had a lot of flexibility attached to it. But yeah, really proved his worth here and just be that third man, connect the play and just timed his movements really nicely when to move in coordination with what his other teammates were doing. Obviously, they have things like the centre-backs moving high and the midfield is always rotating and the wide men doing some cool things and even the striker this one which was odd guard Zerxe was missing for this one so just that's a really good place to start and obviously the way he joined attacks and dynamically occupy space between the lines especially was really good so in this aspect he can receive the layoff he forms that 4v3 and he's in a forward facing posture ready to attack and surge at that back line and he's got the momentum against the stationary defenders so he just creates a lot of havoc in these situations and just times it to really add that speed into the attack which is so important in the final third to manipulate and disrupt and then unlock defences. So here's a situation here where he's just held his run. Obviously, Empoli's attracted to the ball here and he just forms a 3v2 there to be the beneficiary of that third man combination. Empoli are drawn to that far side and he doesn't get sucked in. He just holds that post, ready to be the ideal outlet. Then the highly skilled technical attacker who's obviously scanning, making sure that pressure's not coming from his blind side so he can then surge ahead and attack the last line there. So another cool situation, that one. Here's another nice one in the deeper build-up where he's just obviously scanning, making sure there's no one around him. And so he knows that he can turn and face and open up that far side of the field here. So just gives his team the outlet, forms the overload in a key area where he's definitely needed to support the attack. So, and then your yeah, decision making is really solid. He can, you know, dribble slickly, use his passing, turn on a dime. He's got some nice body feints and sort of nice dribbling moves in his armory. So yeah, just really good at gaining room and separation, both with and without the ball. Here's a nice passage here where Empoli is sort of attracted to the ball. They're a little bit discombobulated, obviously, with those midfielders, Freuler and Ferguson, asking questions too. And Urbanski just drops into that space. He's scanning behind him, getting himself that updated mental imagery of his surroundings so he can receive the ball behind that midfield line, turn and face, and really gather some momentum into the Bologna attack as they venture through the third. So just really smart space finding and the way he identifies it too within the structure. Another nice one here where he's just joining the attack and obviously, you know, they're always attracting markers, making space for one another. And he's obviously also mindful that Calafiori is pushed on from that centre-back post, which is, you know, one of the real trademarks of Motta's Bologna with those centre-backs pushing on. So just fitting in nicely, balancing the structure, knowing where he has to be in relation with his teammates in any given situation with that fluidity that just makes them such a weapon. So this was a cool passage as well. Obviously, on to the next one there, just providing a perfect outlet to progress the attack beautifully in between the lines. Notice that Empoli are being pinned by his teammates and he just darts in there. He's obviously had his scan too, knows what he can do and instantly can drive forward and attack. Use those silky skills on the dribble, on the passing, shooting, whatever he wants to do, draw a player. So just a really nice catalyst for so many quality attacks and for them to really gain control in that midfield area, which they do so well. See another nice movement here where he's peeled off the back shoulder of his marker there, ready to receive forward facing, dynamically occupying that space on the move, ready to inject life into that attack in the final third. So really great at exploiting openings within back lines and just to drive his team forward again there. See another cool little thing they would do is obviously all the nominal midfield three of Ferguson, Froehler and Urbanski pushing over to that near side, forming those overloads, giving them every chance to either progress with some smart combinations. Obviously Odd Guard's making a movement there in behind two, which amplifies their menace, but 
But yeah, if they want, they can then switch the play to the far side, overload to isolate principle. And Urbanski certainly a key man in this. And, you know, they're always mixing things up with their tactical nuances. And this was another one that he was obviously well in tune with and helped this team devise many ways to break through, always have solutions for the ball holder. So just another great aspect of Bologna here. Obviously, Bologna's rotations are a key aspect, and Urbanski was well and truly on the same page with his teammates here. Obviously, helping Salamakas come in to create that 4v3. Obviously, Urbanski's gone and filled his wide role at this point, but just, yeah, intelligent. Obviously, got the fleet feet, fast thinking, technical and tactical understanding, and that sort of shone through in this case and the ones we're about to show as well. Another one here where he switched midfield number eight roles with Ferguson, just to mix things up, vary it up, make those marking assignments difficult, always placing doubt and causing conundrums for defenders and just generally just trying to find ways to break down the defense to progress up the field. Another situation here where he's basically playing as the deepest midfielder. Froiler's pushed on into that advanced area. Ferguson's got wide. So they're always just constantly altering those reference points and never letting opponents settle into a pattern of how best to stop them. So this is a nice example of that. Same with this situation. Obviously, noticed Indoy had initially vacated that wide area. Urbanski filled in there. And then in this case, Indoy's then exploiting the space Urbanski's made by creating that marker. So he sort of hits the channel. So they sort of do a double rotation almost just to switch things up and attack that channel there to find that space in the opposition block. So that's a nice passage too. And here he's obviously rotated with Odgaard to basically fill the centre forward spot there temporarily. Just another thing to change things up and cause doubt in those defenders' minds, always asking questions and posing them with dilemmas. And often you just need a split second and, you know, you exploit the back line. So that's all it needs for Bologna to sort of make headway. And yeah, these rotations are so key to that. And this situation obviously became a, who was nominally a right back in this one, often plays centre back, but on the rare occasion, he was playing right back on this one. And then Lukimi had switched with him from his centre back post. And so that means Zubanski noticing the situation, knowing where the roles and the space were to be filled, he drops into sort of situationally be the centre back there to assist the build up. So just a really cool passage of play and a testament to obviously not only Bologna implementing the style, but the players knowing what to do given the situation. So really tactically flexible Urbanski. So yeah, as we've seen, he can be the free man and fill in anywhere sometimes. Centre back here, a holding midfielder, an eight on either side, striker, winger, fullback, he can sort of do it all. And that's such a key aspect of a modern day footballer and why obviously Motta rates him so highly to step in when he needs him. Well, see, here's a nice situation where he's obviously drawn the man and filling the space vacated by Ferguson allows the Scott to get in a 4v3 with time and space to turn and dictate the play like he does, as well as Froehler's playing his role here in the space creation and they're pointing to each other, communicating where the best spaces to attack are and once again, just manipulating that defensive structure. So really cool passage that Nurbanski is obviously aware to exploit the space that opened up initially. Another one here doesn't necessarily need to be involved directly in the passage, so he's just strategically drawing his marker, as is Froiler there, and that opens the space nicely for Calafiori to receive in between the lines. In that central area, obviously, he's pushed on from that centre-back spot like he does so well, and it's just become such a statement of his play in the Bologna team, so Urbanski helping him to get free there. Another one there where he's drawing his man to create the space for Froiler to receive freely, obviously rotating with him there, occupying that deepest midfield spot. So just gives the move a real kickstart and a real push on to gain that momentum and just continually propel them upfield. Another one there where he notices Indoy and some of his teammates drawing those oppositions. Odgaard's pinning his man. Empley's obviously really attracted to the ball, their markers and ball watching. And Urbanski takes that opportunity to smartly dart into that channel, into the box, final third there that's opened up. Same as this one, obviously creates the space for Ferguson to run into with his nicely timed run into the channel. And then once he gets on the ball, you can see him looking at Ferguson's run. He receives and then duly obliges Ferguson's really dangerous run into the final third into oceans of space to create a really quality chance for Bologna. So just the way he impacted proceedings really well collectively and individually was just such a highlight. As you can see, the heat map from this game just shows that he was all over the pitch, making valuable contributions all over rotating and just interchanging as he saw fit and within that framework mod has created that's such a joy to watch same with the pass map just showing that he was all over the pitch and just getting involved so heavily and knowing so well what to do with his roles and responsibilities as is the sort of average position and the pass combinations map just showing where he was based most of the time on an average which obviously is sort of hard to tell with Bologna because they mix things up so well so that's the end of the graphics there and Obviously, he spoke after this game and how much he's enjoying life under Motta. And, you know, it's just really cool to see a young player thriving in such conditions in an elite league. So you can really see the improvement and development. So obviously, he 
said, there's a crazy atmosphere in the locker room right now. We're winning. We found the way again, and we always want to do more. We always play to win. Here in Empoli today, it wasn't easy, but we got three points, and we are very happy. I'm fine. I like playing in midfield. It's my position, but I can be wherever the coach puts me. It's always nice when the fans follow us away too. And here in Empoli, there were so many of them. It felt like we were playing at home. There is a great union between the team, staff, club, and fans. You can see that we are a big family. In the locker room, we are a good group. We help each other a lot, and that's obviously key to their success as a you know collective package, which obviously brings the best out of individuals individuals and yeah Urbanski is definitely a key beneficiary and he's coming on really well this season so that's the end of the analysis on this exciting talent with a very bright future if you enjoyed this video please like and subscribe and leave a comment would really appreciate it thank you for taking the time to watch the video and have a great day stay tuned for the next analysis